Hello honeybees, this is Alyssa with Twin Cup Tarot and today we're doing Fast Answers. For those of you who haven't watched Fast Answers with me, you guys think of roughly three to four questions that you would like me to answer for you and I will use a normal playing card deck that I wrote intuitive messages on to give you your yes, no, maybe answer. And if I get any further messages as to the energy surrounding the situation, advice, reasons as to why the answer is what it is, I will tell you on the spot. But otherwise, the answer is the answer I'm getting. As usual, honeybees, keep in mind that energy is fluid, time is an illusion, roles can be reversed, and this may not be your story. And that's okay. There's so many amazing readers out there. One of them will resonate with you. Don't make something fit or don't try to make something fit if you know that it doesn't. All right, honeybees, I want you to start clearing your mind and start thinking of only that first question, okay? That first question that would require a yes, no, maybe answer. Okay, guys. So I have the two of clubs. Start making plans for your future, not the right time for action. Okay. And that's, you know, I'm not really sure what possessed me to put conflicting messages on this card because <laughs> it says start making plans for your future, not the right time for action. Okay. I think I got it. So basically, if you're wondering if you should do something, Okay. It doesn't matter if it is romantic based, career based, you know, having to do with taking a leap of faith. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is that you're contemplating going towards, it's saying this is a good time to start putting those plans to paper. It's a good time to start, you know, really formulating the steps you want to take, but it is not time to make that step. It is not time to actually take that leap of faith. This, there's this something that you really need to put in a lot of preparation for before you move on it. You know, the image I'm getting is someone basically who has, they would like to go to France, okay? They haven't bought the ticket yet. They haven't, you know, started buying the equipment and such they're going to need for the journey. What they're doing is they're sitting down and going, okay, where do I want to, where do I want to go in France? Okay, do I want to go to Paris? Do I want to stay in the country? Where, where do I want to go? Okay, now what date do I want to go? What dates do I want to be there? How much is it going to cost me for the plane ticket? How much is it going to cost me for my stay there? You know, how am I going to go get my passport and make sure it's ready before I go. You know, there's just a lot of preparation involved with that, whatever you're thinking about, okay? Um, if it has to do, if, if you're wondering if you should extend, you know, emotions to someone or extend an offer to someone, it's saying hold back on that offer for right now and really just take a step back and start to really formulate the best way you could come towards this person. Just don't make that step yet. If you're wondering if someone is going to reach out to you, or you're wondering if someone is going to extend emotions to you, this is saying that the action is not going to happen at this time because there's things that that person is trying to work out within themselves. All right, honeybees, that was question number one. Now I want you guys to start clearing your mind and focus on question number two. Sorry, guys, my upstairs neighbor is making so much noise, which is funny because it's midnight, but I guess I'm not the only one who's a night owl. Oop, we had a flip there. Okay, all right, so we have Ace of Hearts. 
A romantic, loving new beginning. Yes. Ta-da! Yes. Two exclamation points. So if you guys were asking about romance, which would make sense considering this card, the answer is yes. Absolutely yes. If you're wondering if you're going to start a relationship with somebody, yes. If you're wondering if someone likes you romantically, yes. If you're wondering if someone is the one for you, yes. If you're wondering if your date with them is going to be great, yes. Now, if you aren't thinking about a romantic situation, if you're thinking about career or anything else, you know, non-romance related, which honestly, for most of you, I'm getting romance. But for any of you out there who are already in a happy relationship and you have other things on your mind, you know, this is a big yes. If you're wondering if, wow, I don't know why I got this. If you're wondering if you should start a family, you know, and start having children, yes. If you're wondering if you're ready for that big step, yes. If you're wondering if you should go towards the career of your dreams, yes. If you are wondering if you should put in an application for financial aid so that you can go back to school, yes. Okay? I'm just getting big, big yes. Absolutely. Whatever you just asked me, yes. All right, now I want, oh, I don't know if I should take that. Okay, this will be a little side, side message, and then we will also do question number three. So I'm not sure if this is related to question number three, question number two. Some of you might have had a thought process that came into your head, you know, as I started to shuffle. Okay, so I got the Jack of Diamonds. A message of a new opportunity or gift. Okay, so for some of you, this is just a message to you that you're gonna be you're gonna receive contact from someone. And with with that message they send you, they're gonna be coming to you with good news. Okay. So if you were wondering if you were gonna get a job. Okay, this is saying you're going to get a message with good news. Now, I'm getting a couple things with that. Norm you know, normally with this, I'd get, yeah, you're going to get that job. But what I actually see here is no matter what the answer is on, like, for instance, if you're wondering about a job, I'm hearing for some of you, yes, you got the job. And for those of you who didn't get the job, you're going to get an opportunity, an offer that's even better. So you won't even be sad about not getting the other job. So either way, I see this, this being good news to you, really good news. If it's romantic, you're going to have someone reach out to you and give you good news on how they feel, you know, or, okay, another thing I heard is if, if there's someone that you are at a distance to right now, someone you really care about, you might get a message that this person is coming back or that this person is going to come visit you, okay? So I'm getting that no matter what this is, a lot of you, any of you who resonate with this, but probably most of you that are watching this video right now, um, you're about to have um, an opportunity or gift come your way that it's, it's really going to be pretty great. I don't see it as a life-changing gift, um, it could be, but I, I more see it as something that just brightens your day, makes your life easier, you know, pretty much just a welcome, welcome bit of news that really just makes things fall into place. So it is big, but it's not life changing is what I'm getting. All right, guys. So now let's, <laughs> as it flips out. Now let's get officially to question three. So I guess that was a little bonus there. Question three, guys. So clear your mind. Start thinking of your third question. As you can see, I wrote a couple things on here. So we have the three of spades. There is someone else in this situation. A choice still needs to be made. Interesting. Okay, so this can mean a couple different things. Um, for some of you, you're wondering if you're going to get a promotion or if you're in a contest or if there's something that you're, you're in competition for something you're trying to get, but there's 
other people who want that position as well. This is saying that the person who's making the judgment call on who wins or gets the position or gets the promotion, they haven't made up their mind yet. There's other candidates. That's something to keep in mind. There's other candidates and you could be incredible. You could be qualified. You could have amazing attributes that would bring, you know, wonderful things to that position. Okay. You could be a huge asset to them, but there might be other candidates who also are great options, who also have wonderful attributes and also have great assets that they could bring to this position. So it's just something to keep in mind. It does not diminish your value just because someone else also has value, okay? So if there's something like that that you're, you're kind of competing for or working hard for where other people are also working hard for the same thing, that's just something to keep in mind. The decision is still up in the air. Keep doing your best. Keep trekking away. Okay. Now, this is this is the hard part of the conversation. Okay. For some of you, this is saying that if you're wondering if someone is going to, if you're wondering if someone is going to come to you with an offer romantically, okay. This is saying that there's other people in their life who are influencing this decision, okay? Now, for some of you, the person you're thinking of, they might have a lot of options romantically, and they're having a hard time deciding which direction they want to go. For some of you, the person on your mind, they might have someone close to them like a friend or family member who heavily influences their opinion, someone they look up to or someone's, someone whose um, uh, opinion they, they value very highly, okay? So that could be a situation as well that they haven't decided because there's other people, other things, you know, involved with the situation. Now, the other story, which is going to be a very, very small small piece of you or a very small um, group of you, which I hope it's none of you because it's no fun. But um, if you're wondering about someone's fidelity, I hate, I hate to delve into that, but it happens. Every, it, it comes up. Okay. This is basically saying there's someone else involved in the situation. Okay. But that does not mean it's automatically that they're cheating. Okay. It doesn't automatically mean that. They could be completely faithful to you. It could be someone else who they're involved with, not romantically, so a friend or a family member who is influencing their outlook right now, influencing their opinion, you know, kind of affecting the situation. But some of them could have another person, you know, in this situation. But either way, no concrete decision is going to be made right now, no matter what you're talking about, okay? Ooh, guys. I never like when those kind of messages come up. I never want to say them. But one thing I've learned doing Tarot and Oracle, that if you don't say something that you're hearing during one of these readings, you're going to think about it later and go, you know, I dropped the ball. Because that could have been a message for somebody. And the important thing about being a Tarot Oracle read oracle reader is that it's not about resonating with a thousand people. It's not about resonating with a hundred people or 50 people. Okay. You did your job if you brought the right message to one right person. Okay. If you helped one person in their life with your message, you were successful. That's how I feel about it with Tarot and Oracle. You know, so I feel that when I hear these things, I have to say them even when I don't want to. All right, guys, what are we on? Question four? I think we're on question four. All right, guys, so I want you to start thinking of your question. Clear your mind of anything else. Think of your fourth question here. Okay, so we have the Ace of Clubs. A passionate fire will be lit within yourself or another. Yes. Mic 
backdrop. What can I say? What can I say? If that's romantic, what else do you want me to say here? A passionate fire will be lit within yourself or another. Yes. Okay, so for some of you, you have a new romance coming in, a new romance coming in that is passionate, will feel amazing, you'll be swept up, they'll be swept up, it will definitely be mutual, and it'll be a great start to something, something yummy, okay? If you guys are wondering if someone you already know um, likes you back, this is basically indicating that there's going to be a passionate start with this person, okay? A side message I just heard is some of you might like someone or feel passionate. Okay, you might not like this, so I apologize. But if it resonates, it resonates, okay? Um, for some of you, you might like someone a lot, okay? But this person doesn't reciprocate that feeling for whatever reason. For some of you, this is saying you're going to have a passionate new start with somebody anyway, okay? So what I'm hearing, <laughs> you guys might not like this, but um, no matter what, I'm seeing you guys having a passionate new start. For some of you, it's going to be the person you're thinking about right now. For some of you, it's going to be someone new, okay? And for some of you, this is about rekindling. Re, re, did I just say rekindling? <laughs> Mercury retrograde, guys. So rekindling, revitalizing, revitalizing, and rekindling a current relationship so that it is passionate again. Okay. For some of you, it's that as well. But either way, you guys have amazing things coming into you. Oh my gosh, guys, forgive me for a witty and slip. I, I can't even, I can't even. <laughs> Mercury retrograde, that's all I can say to you. I'm sorry, guys, I am sorry. Um, let me try that again. No matter your situation, you guys are gonna be lucky in romance. You're gonna have a new start that's very passionate, that's very yummy, it's warm, it's, you're gonna love it. You're gonna have that butterfly feeling and you're gonna be swept away as well as them. So for some of you, it's gonna be the person on your mind and for some of you, you're gonna be surprised. That's all I gotta say, okay? <laughs> you know, I think I'm gonna do another question. I don't know why I'm a glutton for punishment. What can I say? So. <laughs> Let's do question number five. Is that what it is? All right, so clear your guys' mind. I want you to really focus on that fifth question, okay? Think of your fifth question. Do it require a yes, no, maybe answer? They're not giving me cards right now. My angels are like, Alyssa, stop while you are behind. Your words are word soup right now. Come on, angels. We got one more question. Okay. Ace of clubs again. A passionate fire will be lit within yourself or another. Yes. Did you ask me the same question again? Or did you ask me a similar question again? Okay, I get a couple things with that one. It's interesting to me that that same card just came out again. So for some of you, you asked me the same question and you just wanted confirmation, okay? If you just wanted confirmation and that's why you asked me again, <laughs> here's your sign, okay? If you wanted confirmation, there it is. There's your confirmation. If you were asking about two different people here, two different people, basically what this is saying is that one of them, it's not telling you which one though. There's something about surprise here 
For a lot of you, it's about the surprise. Now, I know, I know, I mean, I get it. We all want to know how it's going to play out. We want to know the juicy secrets. We want to know that we're going to have this passion coming in. But I can tell you, for those of you that have resonate with the resonated with these messages, uh, something's pa something passionate is going to come in for you. Okay. If you're if you're asking about romance romance specifically, you have something coming into you. Oh my gosh, I did it again. <laughs> you have something coming in for you. That is going to be wonderful, okay? <laughs> but for some reason, if you're wondering about multiple people, you don't get to know which one yet. For some of you, it's because you need to make that decision yourself. You need to weigh the pros and cons. You really need to look at your options. And the reason is, is because here, here's the part that's, that's, that might blow your mind a bit, Okay. And it, it actually blew my mind the first time that I really realized this. It is not about which person you choose. When you feel stuck between two people, it's not about choosing one or the other. You know what it's about? What path do you want to walk in life? What do you want your future to look like? What do you want your outcome to be? Okay? What kind of scenery do you want along the way? when you're headed towards your destination? What are your passions? Do you want to go towards them? What career do you want to be in? Do you want to have children? Do you want to get married? Do you want to not get married? Do you want to not have children? Do you want to own a zoo in Puerto Rico? You know, it's, a, it's the actual decision here is what you want your future to look like. When you have options like that, now, I'm not trying to diminish the amazing qualities of two people, but my personal opinion is that there are many people in this life who could fill the role of your romantic soulmate. I believe we all have many soulmates in our lives, okay? And the one we choose is based off the path we choose, okay? Because you need someone who, even if they're different from you and they have their own passions, their own career, all that kind of stuff, you need someone who's going to walk the path with you or at least walk alongside you, adjacent to you, okay? You need someone who's going to be your partner in crime along the way, okay? That's what you're looking for, and that's how you make that decision. So with this, if you're wondering about multiple people, the reason why it's not telling you which one you should choose is because that's something, that's, that's part of the lesson here. Part of the lesson is to decide what you want, to learn what you want, and then make a decision based on that. Wow, guys, that was interesting. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below and let me know if this resonated with you. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful night. Bye.